Today's ride begins in Chaumont sur Loire, follows along the Loire, then turns at the confluence of Le Bouvron and climbs a hill to Condé sur Bouvron, winds through rolling hills to Chai, then back to the Loire on a riverside bike path that crosses the Loire into Blois, a 22-kilometer ride with 173 meters of elevation gain. We leave on the highway directly beneath the chateau on the hill and immediately make our way to follow a riverside path along the Loire. We have a lot of company on the trail today. The weather is cool and ideal for riding. We leave Chaumont as we pass under the D1 bridge. During August, camping facilities are booked with French travelers enjoying their summer vacations. Surrounded by tall trees on both sides, one would never guess that we are less than 100 meters from the Loire. Now, only 50 meters from the Loire, we enter the district of Bouffron. This is a well-maintained dirt track protected from farming traffic to our right. To our left is the confluence of the Bouvron with the Loire. The Bouvron is a smaller river and from appearances a good spot for fishing. This trail is still considered a part of the Loire route as there is no bridge until the next town. This spot would be a perfect place for a picnic. Here we enter Condé sur Bouvron, where we cross over the Bouvron River and begin our ride back to the Loire. This section of Condé sur Bouvron is part of one of the ancient walking trails for pilgrims hiking to Santiago de Compostela in northwest Spain. And speaking of walking, this hill was time for us to put our feet on the ground. At the top of the hill, we are rewarded with a view of the Glisse, Saint Bien Hure, a Catholic church dating back to the Romanesque period. Pedaling onward, our hill climb continues on this 5% section with the false flat. At the top, there is a playground and a park and a plateau where the pedaling is much easier. In a few hundred meters, the tarmac transitions to a dirt track with a grass median. This becomes an aggregate trail without any large rocks or pedals. This is likely a farm road servicing the vineyards. Soon we're on tarmac again, still continuing our way through Condé sur Bouvron. Hidden behind this wall is the Chateau du Medon, built in the 1700s as a summer residence for the Bishop of Blois. Today it is maintained by a private ownership. Behind the grounds is another trail with a grass medium that leads to the small village of Chai. Our route continues closer to the Loire and away from Chai. This is a popular cycling road between Condé sur Bouvoin and Blois. Leaving Chai, 
We follow signs through the park to a track that is parallel to the D751 highway. It crosses the Kosan River and provides a way for cyclists to return to connecting routes on the Loire. In the middle of the stretch, riders are given directions to perform a Dutch-style Fietzer's Overstaken, where a crossing is provided to cross the highway to the other side. This allows riders to continue on another bicycle track to proceed to the Loire. The D91 leads directly to a levee road called Rue saint gildas Levee roads are very common in France and the rest of Europe. When you're riding here, you can be a hundred meters from a beautiful river without being able to see it because of the wall. This cycle track goes up and over the levee. And under the Pont Francois Mitterrand, where we get our first glimpse of the Loire. Here we can see an impressive view of Blois. From the Pont Jacques Gabriel, we witness one of the grandest approaches to the city that we've ever seen. Once across the bridge, we need to navigate toward the Gare, where our hotel is located. Passing by the 16th century fountain, our route follows bike-friendly streets through Place Louis XII. Next, we ride through the Quartier des Arts, the Arts Quarter, a district dedicated to crafts, art, and gastronomy. At the end of the Arts Quarter, we are challenged by our final climb of the day. Alongside the Chateau de Blois, 100 meters at 7%, our steepest of the day. From the top at Place Victor Hugo, there is a separated bike track that leads us to the top of another hill and the location of the rail station or gar and our hotel. Visiting Blois provides a deep dive into French history and culture set against the backdrop of one of the country's most beautiful regions. The chateau is undoubtedly the crown jewel of the Loire. From the 9th century onwards, all the lords of Blois and all the kings of France who ever lived here continually modified the chateau according to their tastes, showcasing styles from the Gothic through the Renaissance to the Classical era. It was the residence of several French kings and is famous for its beautiful facade and the spiral staircase in the Francois I wing. The porcupine symbol, a personal emblem of Louis XII, appears throughout the chateau. The salamander was the emblem of Anne of Brittany, Louis XII's queen, and can also be found throughout the chateau. The chateau also houses the Blois Museum of Fine Arts, which exhibits sculptures and other works of art, including paintings by masters such as Rubens. Directly opposite the Chateau de Blois, the Museum of Magic is dedicated to the famous magician Jean-Robert Houdin, born in Blois. At regular intervals, these dragons appear in the windows as if by magic. Three churches also show the diverse architecture of Blois. The Gothic Cathedral Saint-Louis de Blois has undergone various modifications over the centuries 
stands out for its beautiful stained glass windows and impressive architecture. Iglis San Nicolas is another significant religious monument in Blois. It dates back to the 12th century and features a mix of Romanesque and Gothic element. The third, Iglis Saint Vincent de Paul, was constructed in the 17th century and features Baroque architecture. The church is known for its impressive facade and interior decoration. The Papin staircase connects the lower part of the city with the upper part, offering a unique urban perspective and a great view of the old town. Jardin de l'Evêché, located around the cathedral, these gardens offer stunning views over the city and the Loire River. They are perfect for a leisurely walk and for enjoying the peaceful surroundings. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe below and be notified as more stages are released.